What is going on, people? Today, we're going to be talking about one of the major things that completely changed the way that I played the game. And if I was starting over, for instance, this is probably the number one tip I would have loved to have. That way, I didn't have to, like, find out for myself. So, we're going to jump into it right now. Now, as you guys know, you get five barracks, meaning that you can have five different troop types, right? You can, you can get tanks, infantry, whatever it is, whatever composition you may want to be uh, rolling with, that's what the game allows you to do. Now, here's the thing though, when I was rolling out with all my troops, right, you select all and you go over here and, and you move all of them, right? You have to keep in tr you have to keep track of five different units. One might be stronger than the other one. One might be faster than the other. The other one might be super slow, like this one. So you're you're not gonna always have them all together, especially if you're moving from point A to point B and they're not right next to each other. So that can be a hassle and that can be a lot to keep up with. Now, if you're into uh, a large scale battle with like another guild, etc. There's going to be a lot going on and keeping track of five different units is going to be a chore. So as you can tell right here, look, I have four units that are about 100k and then one that is just massively stronger than all of them. Here's the reason why once I started only focusing on one troop, the game completely changed. So when you're out in the battle, if you're trying to keep track of all five, you're more than likely gonna start getting picked off, especially the weaker units, right? Like like these, these are going to get taken out really easy because the HP is low, they're more offensive than defensive, etc. So next next thing you know, instead of having five, you're gonna be a zero and you have, you're gonna have to retrain them and you're gonna have, gonna have to keep retraining and retraining and retraining. Whereas, for instance, if you just not produce, uh, let's go ahead and garrison all of them. But we're going to keep the strongest one out here, right? So if you only focus on one troop type and the, the other ones, you're just going to leave garrisoned in your base. That does a couple of things for you. Not only are these going to be doing a lot more damage, because let me tell you, this right here, this 454k troop that I have, is infinitely stronger than the other four that together they'll probably make more than 454k but they're not going to be as effective it also does another thing if this is the only troop that you're focusing in the battle you're going to be much harder to pick off and if you do your reserves are not going to be going down that bad because even if they do take damage all you have to do is back up find a nice place to heal up heal up and then get right back into the battle right so uh it's one of the main reasons why this is really really important not only that if you only have one really strong troop not only are you going to be doing more focus damage you're going to be harder to pick off you're also not going to be leaving your base completely vulnerable because you are going to have four garrisons that will attack if your base is attacked so there is a plus side to it and there's another thing this reserves that you get up here, this is one of the resources that a lot of people don't really pay too much attention to until they're out of it, right? So if you are in battle with all five troops and your weaker troops get getting picked off and getting picked off, even though you keep retraining them, first of all, you're going to be using a lot of resources, a lot of, a lot of military funds just to keep retraining them, but you're going to keep getting out of uh, reserve troops and you're going to be using your reserve troops on your weaker units which isn't really great because once this gets to zero you literally cannot train your troops back up and this i think you only get like one every five minutes or so so it's not something that you're going to be able to get right away but for instance if you take a look at this troop right here if one of them gets taken out which is going to be hard to do because this is a very strong troop you're only going to be using four of your reserves for mediums anyway, depending on the troop that you use. One might take more, uh, like heavies, they take a little bit more, but they will take uh, more damage. So, uh, But your reserves are also going to be, I mean, for lack of a better word, reserved um, because you're not going to be losing them as much. So putting all you can into one troop and then the rest just kind of just kind of put whatever you have left over is definitely the way to go. 
Like, I went with the medium tank just because medium tanks, they're kind of like in between. They are not very slow, so that means that you can get around and get away much easier than, for instance, the heavies. Um, and they also do a really decent amount of damage. So mediums are, are my go-to. Um, a lot of people like to do heavies as well because heavies, even though they're slower, they're not that crazy slow. Um, and as you can tell, I do have quite a few other ones. I have the light tank. Uh, and I also have the super heavy. Those are the ones that there is no other one like it in the other uh, in the other ones. So those are the ones that I'm kind of focusing mostly on. And I do also have the heavy. But right now, all of my resources went into the medium tank. If you look at my modify, it's pretty much almost all maxed out. Look at that. It's it's almost all maxed out. And if you look at the other ones like these, they have absolutely nothing on them. Nothing on them everything went into my medium and when i go into battle it's it's so much easier to take things out so let's take a look at let, mm, let's let's take a look at a level five bunker or shoot i could probably do a level six bunker let me see if i can solo a level six bunker it might be pretty hard um but the thing about this is, is that my troop is so hard to uh, to take down then a, a level six bunker isn't really that big of a uh, of an obstacle and also one other thing that i would love to mention is that if you're focusing all into one troop uh which by the way i also got a couple of gold parts for it already i got this one i got this one i can also make another one but i'm kind of contemplating if i want to get it already because it's not that big of a uh a difference maker so I'm, I'm probably gonna wait until i can get the the engine and then the suspension and then the supplies just to kind of get all the gold parts that i need uh, but regardless of all of that the other thing that I, I i have failed to mention so far is that if you're focusing only on one troop that means that you can all you should only focus on two of your officers in this case i went with guardian of truth i got him maxed out and let me tell you he not only does he do a lot of damage, he also le uh, helps you mitigate damage for tanks, which goes really well with my medium tank. And then the one that I pair along with it is Sergeant Spanner. And uh, Emergency Repair is the one that I'm, I'm uh, working on to max out. Just because that heal in battle comes in clutch. It heals so much and it basically makes your tank tankier. Uh, so these are the two um, officers that I'm focusing on. And that's all I really have to worry about right now. If I was worrying about all five different troop types, I would have to worry about all of the di different officers. Like, oh, I need to take out my siege. I need to take out my infantry. I need to take out the other heroes. But in this case, I only have two to worry about. So, and them two being so strong, stronger than they normally would be, helps your one troop type so much more. So let's take a look if I can take out this uh, level six bunker just with the one troop. Um, you know what? I'm going to take out the tanks first because they tend to do the most damage. And I want you guys to take a look at all the healing that my uh, my unit is going to be doing. So take a look at the heal that's going to come up right here. Watch, 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 watch. There it is. That is so good because now while I'm going to be attacking this level 6 bunker and it takes a while, I'm going to be healing back some of the damage that they did. So if I had my other troops in there doing a, a whole lot of more damage, the other troops might have already spawned and I wouldn't be able to heal as much damage as I am healing right now. So the slower approach is actually not a bad thing. And here I like to take out the siege first because they tend to do most of the damage here um that way uh i can go ahead and take him out but take a look at this take a look at this not only am i not taking that much damage my troop my one troop is taking them out pretty much in one shot and this is a level six bunker it's not like it's a level two or three these are some fairly decently strong uh units so uh a lot of people when it comes to these bunkers they they have to go with like two or three friends just to take them down because they take five different units that are 100, 150k and they get wiped and they lose, they lose reserve troops, they lose all of these other stuff just because they're, they're not as invested into the one troop. And look at this. Finally, one of my troops are into the yellow. 
uh, two of them. And uh, let me see. I gotta take out the heavies because that's what counters my medium. So I gotta, I gotta take them out. They're the ones that are definitely gonna be doing the most damage. And I've lost one troop so far. So I am down to five. But this is pretty much like the end of the bunker, right? And I, uh, while this is going on, I am still healing. So I think we have one more wave to go through and we should be good. I'm not going to be training my troops or anything like that. Just to show you what one really strong troop can do. All right. We should be getting them coming out pretty soon. I'm still getting my heals, which is good. It's in the red. So we should be out anytime the longer it takes the better it is for me because uh i can i can heal even more maybe i'll be able to even get out of the yellow uh dang not yet uh is there one more i could have sworn that there was one more garrison that would pop out but maybe not maybe i miscounted maybe that was it yeah that was it so i defeated a level six bunker with my one unit and all i had to do was what what does this use my what four it uses four of my reserve troops which i get back in 20 minutes and while i do that my troops are just gonna go ahead and heal themselves up like almost instantly and i can just go ahead and go on to the next bunker level six bunker fairly easily taken out by one troop while my other four are just kind of chilling now if i was to try and do like do the best that i could i could probably start it off to where they uh they they focus my strongest troop first and then i get my my backup units to kind of do more damage in the back without them being targeted but you see what i'm saying one troop it, it doesn't even have to be up to 120 you can take them up to 80 if that's all you can do for now take it to 80 Make sure that you get the best parts that you can for it. Focus on that, those parts for that unit specifically and modify it as much as you can and then take it out into battle. And I'm telling you, it's going to be so much easier for you than having to worry about five different ones and using a bunch of reserves for weaker troops that are probably not worth those reserves that you're going to use on it. So, yeah, that's the number one tip that I would tell people to make sure that they just get one troop and stop dragging these super weak troops into battle that way you're just feeding kills to your enemies there's no point in taking 80k siege into a large scale battle because they're just gonna get picked off like nothing okay um but yeah hopefully you guys uh enjoyed and uh, learned something let me know if you're doing the same thing or if you have a different strategy i would love to know because like i said i've been playing the game uh, about two months now and this is probably the main thing that I would tell a new player because too often I see just weak, uh, a bunch of weak troops running around and I'm like, well, that's going to be easy to pick off. <laughs> um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching and until later.